Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. A single footprint, size 10, toss ball cleat sized. The soil in this residue contains a very high concentration of oxygen. Well done, Inspector. The weather monitoring station at the pilot house substitutes for a terraformer. The soil in his footprint likely came from there. fragments of a letter lies at the bottom of this waste basket. Your observation is correct and quite astute. Well, I'm stumped. Someone burned this letter shortly after Halcyon Helen's death. Done. Great work. Nicely done. Initiating banter protocol. Now, send your greetings, theater aficionado and or dumbstruck fan. You are... Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer... Woolrich, banter, protocol, exhausted, reverting to default behavior, grieving and despair. Oh, how's he on Helen? May your atoms be commended to the Aether. Burbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aetherwave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous roles. Burbage 3001. Anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. This unit has been programmed to simulate existential dread. Watch Burbage 3001. Contemplate its mortality in the critically acclaimed drama, Waiting for Results. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles. Burbis.
About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. How does the scenery taste? Good, I trust. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID, which must mean you're not Owen's understudy. That man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. Oh no, this is curious indeed. Who are you, and how did you get in here? You're here to investigate me. Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge, in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man, but uh, of course I'm certain you already recognized it. Now, what shall I sign first, your weapon, your wallet, or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. I'd be delighted. Oh, damn. My pen's out of ink. I'll just get you a portrait of my face as a souvenir. I'm sure I have the prints around here somewhere. By the by, how did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Oh! <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> uh, hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Uh, back when I starred in the Marauder's Pain, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I might even give you a straight answer. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I did indeed. With Halcyon Helen parading her fame about, I was left without an acting partner. Burbage is no exception. His acting protocols <laughs> were nothing short of a joke. So I decided to make some modifications, installing him with some of my old serial quotes as, I think, improved his range. The way he bungled about with that weapon of his hardly befitted a dissident, so I modified it as well. He's much quicker on the draw now, though he's still a machine. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. 
I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Oh. Oh! That's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. Very well. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. How was it that Bellamy met her end? How? How awful! Whoever did this must have been quite heartless. I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Respectfully, Inspector, it is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. All actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement, the director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. Ah! Oh, come now, Inspector, what do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. I'll ask you this. If you'd been the star of cinema for years, then suddenly found yourself scrounging for bit parts while a younger person stole the limelight, how would you feel? In short, the two of us resenting Bellamy is one thing, but... I... You're here, ask me. I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no... That can't be. You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Did you ever see me in The Masked Marketeer? The Busker of Byzantium? What about episodes 13 and 190 of... And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I think that's a bit of a stretch, don't you? If you're going to come after me, I expect...
We don't toss troublemakers out of airlocks. We just throw them over the edge. Non-slug personnel aren't permitted on the pilot house. Can I help you with something? Sure. He in trouble or something? Well, shit. What happened? Is he all right? I just had a shift with Evan at the Purpleberry Orchards, kind of. We were supposed to haul some crates, but he was drunk when I got there. I took him to room 82 under the hotel so he could sleep it off. Guess he was drunker than I thought if he didn't show for work. Can you just check on Evan, please? I'm on duty here. Imagine where you misplaced your old pen. Hey, you look like you need some stuff. Fancy watch? Spare cuff link? Single earring? You want it, I've got it. Junk. My friend, this is not junk. These are people's prized possessions. Priceless personal effects, beloved souvenirs and knickknacks. Nice try, but you can't haggle me down. These are premium goods. Great.
Aren't you looking for a new hat?